in the uh, Children Museum of Mexico City uh, is one of the best. And it was a wonderful experience because uh, most of the time we made it in, in at schools. But now uh, if you have the, the challenge to be in the, the great, great museum of the Children Museum, you have a very uh, hard uh, challenge to do. And it was so nice. Um, we uh, made uh, some workshops there. Uh, we love to to sing the the the, sing, the song um, Mitch Resnick gave us the last year uh, in in Spanish and in English, and we love to have um, different um, um, things to do with not only with scratch, with makey makey, or uh, but doing. Um, place to in place with uh, with the parents and the teachers also together this is Great. one of the yes yes thank uh, you very much uh, we have two other people here okay Chiara thank you Italy. uh Chiara, are you with us please turn on your microphone and we have also adele casa from tunisia um maybe you could in the, uh, introduce yourself oh or not <laughs> <laughs> she's here okay so Maybe you should start the, the your presentation, and when they're back, we we can make this produce. Okay. 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 No Thank problem. Thank you. Can you hear me well? Yes, very yes. well. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Great. Uh, so I'm Milan from France, near Paris, uh, and I've been developing Apidu for uh, nearly two years now. Um, I, uh, I made a little slideshow with uh, some pictures about uh, where I went to school, always, always school in French, and more about Apidou and the education world in France. Uh, I'm not sure about the quality of the pictures, but let's try it. Um, one second. Okay. So, um, this is the school I went to in France. Maybe some of you have heard of it. It's called School, school 42. Um, it's a free coding school in France, uh, which is really around um, based around a new way of, of learning because we have no teachers, no curriculum, and no schedules. Uh, it's only a place with, as you can see on the picture, uh, 900 uh, computers and you come here you do projects and that's how you learn it's only a peer-based um, learning ex experience and it's uh, free and, yeah. and there's a lot of, of gamification here because um, you do projects that you are peer correcting and then you gain experience points and you increase your level and when you're level 21, you, you finish the school. So it's really a new, um, another way of teaching um, in France for since uh, 2013. And um, that's when I went to school uh, to learn coding. So I, I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, uh, we have uh, opened uh, another school in Silicon Valley and there was another one in um, South Africa. Uh, this is the the, the, um, the pedagogical, pedagogical director of, of the school here with a, an appeal in, in its hand. Um, so, uh, and as I said, uh, this is like the project map of the school. We have no um, 
given path, you you take um, you take your world and you specialize in what you want around capital science. I just wanted to to do a, a brief intro about the school I went to because I, I think it's a great place um, for uh, uh, if you were into pedagogy. So um, that's one of the after after the school and during my school I, I've been working with kids a lot. Uh, this is one of the projects that I did, a giant pipe pian um, piano that you can see on the floor here. And um, I've been working with an, uh, a non-profit called Les Petits Brouillards, which is around science, and uh, which, is, uh, which was funded like uh, 30 years ago. So an old uh, non-profit in France doing a lot of workshop around science. And um, one of a way of thinking is you can learn science with uh, like uh, one or two dollars. You can make a workshop for kids. You don't have to have expensive equipment. You can do. Uh, you can teach science and the basic of science with uh, uh, really little things. Um, you don't need to have a, a lot of money. Uh, so this is one of the projects I made with them. So to discover music and as you can see, uh, uh, children kind of loved it. Uh, just uh, running on a, on a giant pi pi piano that made uh, a lot of sense. Um, so to talk a more about what I'm doing, this is one of the early prototypes of Apidu. Uh, Apidu is a, a digital interface. Uh, mainly, we are on Scratch, um, but we are also um, you can also use it with a lot of uh, other development platforms, such uh, as an Arduino, as you can see on this picture. Um, the idea is really to 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 give children um, a more childish, childish object when they are using digital, and not only um, uh, adult subjects. We we think that uh, when child is uh, doing stuff around digital, they, they shouldn't be using adult objects like smartphone or tablets. They they can use. Um, Objects that they understand and that really uh, belongs to, to what they like and what they do. So here we've been um, uh, here. Um, you, you you can see it uh, on war, one of our, our only demo. It was on, on a Maker Fair uh, in Paris, um, and uh, it it was just a quick demo to to show um, uh, to show what you can do with the. Uh, with Apidu, uh, we have like uh, two, 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 three uh, LEDs and one uh, one small motor that you can uh, that you could uh, move or interact with uh, thanks to Apidu, and um, and children could, could program on the on the computer which uh, how the interaction was made. Um, that's another workshop that we did with uh, kids. Um, we we uh, it's it's kind of a small picture. I I I'll try I'll be trying to zoom in. Um, we we've been using like uh, laser cutters and conductive textile textile because um, on Apidu you have no bad balance. Uh, everything is made with conductive textile. Uh, I will show you later on the real one that I have with me. Um, but uh, the the idea is really to to make an object that doesn't seems or doesn't feel too technical technological. But more something that uh, that look like a, a, a regular toy. So um, to 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 do something around that, we made once a, a workshop. Uh,